Today we're going to do front pads and rotors on a 2014 Cadillac ATS4. This has the Brembo front pads uh, and calipers. And uh, I learned this one has the what's called the J55 brake system. Here we go. Okay, so this is what we're looking at. So these brake pads slide in this direction. They're held in with two pins, one here and one there. So you got to do there. You got to try and get a punch on there. And give that pin a smack. So now it moved in a bit. So that's good. It's a good start. That moved in further. So now I'll go with a smaller punch. So I can actually be inside that hole. Keep pushing that pin backwards. So that pin is all the way back here now. So I'll do the same thing down here. And just keep sending that pin backwards. So you get to a certain point where the punch won't reach anymore. So now what we can do, now we can use a pry bar, small pry bar, and get the edge of that pin and pry it backwards to get it to come out the back. Also, Longer punch if you need to and come at it from this side now instead of all the way through and keep pushing it back okay now that's going to release this clip because this used to go there to hold that in but not anymore so now it releases that clip you can actually lift that clip right off the bottom pin and that releases some tension on the bottom pin. You can pull that out. That one you're able to pull out by hand. They're not always that easy to slide out, but that one came out nice. <clears throat> so now the pads can just be pulled out. Maybe you need to go from this side. Give them a tap. Get them started. So you can either pull them or get a tap on that side. Okay. That came out a little bit easier. <clears throat> so there's supposed to be a retaining screw here. This side doesn't have it. Uh, if you're going to take that off, use a hand impact screwdriver. This is a Phillips number three. The process is if the screw is here, you put it in here, hold it and twist it in the direction you're trying to release it and smack it with a hammer and impact screwdriver. So now that I got the pads out, I'll unbolt the caliper. Because you saw I had to drive the pins out, that's why I left the caliper mounted first because trying to drive those pins out if this isn't attached is almost impossible. At least I found it almost impossible. So the caliper mounting bolts are 21 mil come up set it here for right now so in this view you can see this is actually a four piston caliper two pistons on each side that's going to come into play later when we try and compress these i don't have the tool that's meant exactly for this but i have a way i can show you how to do it to get these pressed all the way back in so the new pads will fit Just going to clean up this hub a little bit because on the other side the 
aluminum wheel didn't go back on quite right until I cleaned it. So now we can put the caliper back down, bolt it back up. Okay, caliper's mounted tight now. Got the wheel turned a little bit so you can see these a little better. So even though you got four pistons, this side shares a reservoir. That side shares a reservoir, uh, I believe is how it works. But the problem is, if you push in one of these pistons, this other one pops out, and vice versa. So, the way I just learned to do this is I'll press in two pistons at once, both on the same side, okay? And you're only pressing in the center part of the piston, where it's hard. You don't want to touch these rubber seals, you'll destroy them, then you'll really be screwed. So, one piston... And I'll pl pl pry the other piston in. So now, this side of the caliper, the pistons are all the way in. But I'm going to use some caliper grease real quick on this face, on both ends, and then inside where these pins ride. And I'll also put a little bit of disc brake quiet on the back of the pad, right about where the pistons are going to contact it. That'll help keep them quieter. Now we can just slide that pad right in and try and stop where it looks like that pin's going to line up to mount. Okay. So now... With that side done, now I can go to this side, compress both of these pistons. Smooth, steady motion. Now I can slide the pad on that side. So we're going to start, got new pins, slide the pin in up here, all the way through the pads, then it's going to stop because there's a little ring there that's going to actually lock that pin in for us. So the way you install that now, just give it a few taps. Until the head of that pin is flush with this casting. And that pin is going to come into this hole here. These new pins are not quite as long as the factory pins. Um, but that doesn't concern me too much. I think they may have done that so that they don't protrude here. Because if they protrude here too much, you run the risk of smashing it flat with a punch. And then it won't come out of that bore properly. So now, this is how the clip goes on. It goes underneath that pin, like so. You can press it down. So now I'll press this down and slide the lower pin in. Try tapping it because it's not going through quite. There we go. So now it's started. So now I just got to hold this clip back, drive that pin through, make sure it goes through the other pad properly. So I'll press on this clip with another tool to relieve the pressure there and make sure that pin goes where it's supposed to go. Pins are flush. Clip is in. That's it. That's how you do the brakes.